Okay, now we're going to uh, look at uh, setting up uh, dual rates and expo. They're uh, pretty straightforward to set up. They're on the stick menu, which is menu five. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up dual rates. Low rates with uh, switch B up, high rates with switch B down. So we go, we select enter on the rudder. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to specify the switch. Now you press enter and you can scroll through with plus or minus, but it's actually a lot easier. Just flip the switch that you care about and it'll show up in the menu. So there's switch B up and you know, typically that would be like you know, 60% or something like that. We're really going to bump it down so that it shows up on the screen. We're going to jump that down to 40%. You can see there's a nice uh, flat curve there. And while that's active, you can see the servo. Okay, here, here's what a regular servo motion's like, and here's our low rate servo motion. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back out to the sticks menu again, and while we've got the rudder selected, we're going to press the long, we're going to press enter, and we're going to get the menu. Since we've already got one, we could do like a move or delete or something. But we're going to say insert after. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say for the switch, switch B down. And we're going to leave that at 100%. So now what we've got is we've got high rates with switch B down and low rates with switch B up. There's high rates, there's low rates. And of course you would do that on your you know, elevator, aileron, you know, however you want to set that up. Now let's look at uh, Expo. Let's go ahead and clean this out by deleting each of those. And you go into the same screen, but instead of setting the weight, what you do is you set your exponential. Now a lot of people fly with exponential not tied to a switch. They just have it, you know, for all the all the time that you do it. So we're going to dial in some expo. And typically you do like 30, 40%, you know, whatever whatever's good for your model. We're really going to crank it up, you know, once again just for uh, purposes of seeing it on the screen. We're going to go to 60%. And what we see now is we turn the stick a little bit and we're getting just a little bit of deflection. You can see that on the curve. You're traveling along the x-axis and your y deflection is low. But if we push over to the sides, you see that travels right up the curve and right down the curve. So normally while you're flying, you're nice and gentle, getting a good gentle response. When you're needing to do some acrobatics, you know, throw it into a loop or something, you can push it all the way and get, uh, you know, the full response that you want. Of course, you could tie that in. You could tie that into a switch, so you could turn uh, the expo off or on. You could combine the expo with the rates and, uh, you know, have a you know, have it pretty, you know, pretty elaborate system. But typically, you just uh, set your expo up. Uh, and fly with the expo. Now one question people have is do you make the number positive or negative? You want the expo to be positive because if you set it to negative that gives you a curve that goes the other direction and this is almost never what you want because now you know the slightest touch gives you like a really strong throw. Um, if you're, I think Futabas, they might use a negative number, you know, for the, for the standard correction, but, uh, but Tyrannus, uh, you want that positive to give you that nice, uh, smooth center. So that's what you do. Uh, of course you set that up, no, you know, not only for the rudder, but you know, for the elevator, the aileron, you know, whatever, you know, you need to do for your model.